and the way that we really like running the three by one field version of Reed uh, is really uh, the four strong version, and that's really what we've gotten into over the past few seasons. And so, uh, on the the last field version, we typically had the back going away, uh, either with a swing or an arrow. Uh, towards the single receiver side. So what we're changing is on this version, we're actually going to put the back to the field. And the thought process behind this is, um, if you remember, we talked about how to the field, we're going to eliminate the comeback. All right. Well, what you're doing, uh, if you don't have the back uh, to the field, is you've eliminated the triangle. Okay. So um, what we're doing now is we're getting right back to having that ability to build this thing to where when the quarterback, if, if the uh, corner – doesn't chase and we have no chance at the hash so we've x'd out the hash as we take our drop okay then as i look to the seam read triangle i've got a clean triangle with the swing route actually replacing the flat control that we would get if we were running the comeback okay on an actual makeable throw to the field the other element is we motion a ton to this uh, using what we call flash motion. And you can also, if there's no movement, the quarterback can use this as a blitz beater um, or just a gift and throw it out there now to a good player in space. Um, so you're getting several different things. And it also makes defenses react really quickly to this motion because this is a really good motion just to throw a quick swing screen to the back. And so a lot of times you're going to get a pretty heavy reaction or even a spin down from a safety. And that can uncap you on the seam throw and allow you a chance to get some big plays. So um, here's an example. This is actually a drop, uh, but we're in a tight end trip set. And well, the thing I really like to show about this is just how perfectly the triangle gets set up. Um, if I roll back just a little bit, you can see we've got the drag coming. Okay, we've got the apex of the triangle. He's capped in, on the seam read, and so he's going to snap. And then we've got the back out to the flat. So uh, really clean look. And you see it's wide open. He ends up dropping the ball. But a, just a really good look at how open this can get if you've got the swing to the flat, really handle a flat defender and get him out of there. Okay, um, We'll show a little few better versions of this. So here's the ball actually going to the flat. Okay, So we're looking backside. Um, there's a safety on the backside hash. He doesn't really feel great about it because we get contact. So he's going to immediately come off to the seam read triangle and realize that there's nobody in the flat. So we've eliminated, based on their coverage, there's no flat player. He throws it out there, and we're able to get a really good gain on a third and six. Okay, here's another example. Now, we want to climb the mic. Okay, this is so this is a bad example. We undercut the mic and there's a lot of space. But what this is really just meant to illustrate is that chase concept of if there's nobody backside, you've got a really good chance to hit a big play. If I can hold the safety in the middle of the field and kind of feel that corner chase, then I've got a chance to get a big play on the hash route. Not perfect execution of the hash route, but it's a good idea. It's a good uh, visual for the read that we're looking for from the quarterback. Okay, here we've got the seam read sitting down in space. You can kind of feel that triangle form here where you've got the apex of the triangle and then you have the drag and the flat route to really put two defenders in a bind. Okay, so the guy comes is wide open there. Just going quick, another example of this. Okay, this time we immediately free release the back. There's no flash motion, but we're getting the same look. Okay. You can see the corners off, drops immediately, so we're off that, and we're going to come down to the top apex of the triangle. Um, he's capped by an assistant coach. That's how it goes with defensive guys sometimes. But sits it down, catches it. It's a nice game. Okay, here's a look at the corner sort of hanging out. He doesn't chase. He backs up. So again, you can see the triangle form. We've got a capped seam read, and the seam read's going to settle down and catch the ball. And it's just high percentage stuff also with that built-in explosive. Okay, one more time, you can see the uh, seam read come open. We'd really rather this guy get out of there and not be lazy and really create the stretch. We don't want the drag in the swing on the same plane that one guy can cover it. And that's why it's so important sometimes for us to go ahead and motion the guy out there. But we're going to get the seam read wide open versus the capped hatch safety. Easy completion.
Okay, we're checking the back side. There's a deep safety in the middle of the field. This is a really good look at the hash route. Okay, this is pretty ideal. He has climbed the mic. Okay, and as we climb, he's looking, expecting the ball, and he actually lets the ball carry him across the hash. So we want to be at that angle where we're hitting the hash somewhere 15 to 18 yards, and that's that's pretty good right there. Um, a good throw by the quarterback, and that's the big play aspect of this that you can get. Okay, so if you're going to have an empty protection, which we often have on that, you're going to want to be sure that you've got a couple different ways to get the ball out of the quarterback's hand, and uh, the swing and the drag are two good ways to do that.